All right, here we go. Today is day three of 6.6, .6, and what we're doing is we are spending a second day on composition of functions. So, f of x is equal to 2x minus 5, g of x is equal to x squared plus 3. So what I've done is 1 through 6 are not even a composition of functions. This is just evaluating. So I'm going to do the first one. f of negative 3 means go to f and replace x with a negative 3. So that's 2 times negative 3 minus 5. Negative 6 minus 5 is negative 11. I'm going to give you a one-minute head start. Try 2 through 6. Get to as many as you can before I do. Again, these are just evaluating not even a composition, so I'm not doing composition yet. Yeah, yeah all you're doing, plug in the numbers inside. Oh, that's a five, okay. That's what I got. So, f of 0, 2 times 0 minus 5 is 0 minus 5, so that's negative 5. f of 1, 2 times 1 minus 5, 2 minus 5, negative 3. g of negative 3, I go to the g function, negative 3 squared plus 3. A few of us are typing incorrectly into the calculator. So I'd like to give you a suggestion here to catch that mistake. You know better. You know when you square a negative, it becomes a positive. So when you start pressing buttons on your calculator, I want you to stop and think about the outputs. Because you can make or you can catch a silly mistake. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. So 9 plus 3 is 12. If you can do these in your head, go for it. G of 0 is 0 plus 3, so that's 3. Number 6, G of 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Any questions on just the evaluate? This is actually an Algebra 1 topic. Just doing a quick review. All right, now, 7 through 12, this is what we did yesterday, the composition of functions. Let me real briefly re-explain. A composition of functions is when you put one function inside another function. <coughs> All right, so g of negative 3. Guess what, guys? Right above it, we did g of negative 3, right? So let's not reinvent the wheel here. Not, don't do the work again. That's f of 12. A g of negative 3 we computed. Now I go to the f function. That says 2 times 12 minus 5. 24 minus 5 is 19. I'm going to pause and give you a 1 to 2 minute head start. 8, 9, and 10 are numbers, but 11 and 12 are functions. So do as many of them as you can, 8 through 12.
All right, number eight. If I want g of f of negative 3, f of negative 3 we did in number 1, so that's negative 11. g of negative 11, you go to the g function, and it says square the input plus 3. So that's 121 plus 3 is 124. Is that making sense? <coughs> Number nine, f of g of 1. g of 1, either do it again, g of 1 is 1 plus 3, which is 4. Then I go to f. f says 2 times 4 minus 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Number 10. F of g of 0. So you always start with the inside with a composition of functions. g of 0 is 3. Then I go to f. If you can do them in your head, that's terrific. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. Okay. F of g of x. This is f of, and g of x is x squared plus 3. Okay, so you always start in a composition of functions with the inside function. Now I go to f, and f says 2 times your input minus 5. How come x can equal the same thing? Like x can equal x squared plus 3. Okay, great question. Let's come back up here and... Joe, it might help help. If I look at f of x equals 2x minus 5, maybe you could write it like this. f of your input equals 2 times the input minus 5. So that x is a placeholder for input. So I can put numbers in. I can do f of 3, f of negative 1. So in input of input. Yes. So you're not putting in so instead of the input, it's just replacing what you're putting in. So I can make the input x squared plus 7. I can make the input 1 over x. I can do lots of things. So that's what it's for. All right, so now let me clean this one up. That's 2x squared plus 6 minus 5. And that will simplify to 2x squared plus 1. All right, then number 12, if I want g of f of x, that's going to be g of 2x minus 5. So, Joe, try this one, okay? If you're going to do g of f of x, that's g of 2x minus 5. So, this actually means my input squared plus 3. <coughs> When you square a sum or difference, you have to FOIL it. So let me give you a head start so you can FOIL. Alright, so if I FOIL this, that's 4x squared, the outer is minus 10x, the inner is minus 10x, that's minus 20x plus 25 plus 3. And I'm going to collect like terms, and that's going to give me 4x squared minus 20x plus 28. Alright, questions on that one? Alright, you guys try 13 through 18. I change the functions. f of x is 2x minus 1. g of x is 3x.
I'm going to start this one. Number 13. If I have f of g of negative 3. So g of negative 3 is 3 times negative 3. So that's f of negative 9. Okay, does everybody see how I got that? Then I go to f. f says 2 times your input minus 1. So it's 2 times negative 9 minus 1. Negative 18 minus 1 is negative 19. With the composition of functions, you always start with the inside. Number 14, f of g of 2. So I start with g of 2. g of 2 is 3 times 2, that's 6. Then this is 2 times 6 minus 1. 12 minus 1 is 11. Number 15, g of f of negative 5. That's negative 10 minus 1. That's negative 11. 3 times negative 11 is negative 33. So I can do these in my head pretty easily. You do as much as you can in your head. If you don't like that, then you do the work and show it. <clears throat> Number 16, g of f of 8. F of 8 would be 16 minus 1, so that's 15. G of 15 is 3 times 15, which is 45. Any questions with the numbers? All right, then let's try the last two. If I want F of G of X, I replace the inside with what it's equal to. G of X is 3X, so now G is gone. F of 3x, I replace the x with my input. So it's 2 times the input minus 1. That's 6x minus 1. Number 18, g of f of x. So that's g of 2x minus 1. So f of x, it's not f times x, it's f of x, is a function. Now I'm going to go to g. And it says 3 times my input. So that's 6x minus 3. Notice 17 and 18 are not the same answer. So we learned that composition of functions is not commutative.